So last year I was getting married to my husband at City Hall and I really wanted to have a detail that was a little bit more edgy than your typical white dress. I took my favorite leather jacket and I wrote Just Married on the back of it. And since then it's gone to 25 different brides and it's had a life of its own. When you get it, you feel like it's already lived all these other stories. I didn't really want it to sit in the closet and collect dust. So what I did was I posted it on an online trading site. There was such an overwhelming response for it. I decided to keep it and rent it out every single weekend for just a bottle of wine. Brides find me on Facebook or Instagram. They tell me their wedding date. If it's available, they can bring me a bottle of wine and they get the jacket from Wednesday to Tuesday. As soon as I saw the leather jacket, I was like, messaged her right away. I need this leather jacket ASAP. So I was looking for a leather jacket and found one for a bottle of wine. <laughs> I actually had plans to wear a leather jacket on my wedding day. My dad passed away from cancer and he and I used to ride motorcycles together. So when I saw Sylvia's post about this leather jacket with just married on the back, it was like meant to be. I had a very traditional Hindu Punjabi ceremony in reception. I knew I wanted to wear a leather jacket jacket when I walked off the mandap. Some people thought it was really weird. Some of my aunties and uncles were like, why is she wearing a leather jacket on top of a lenga? Is this a new thing? I remember when uh, Amanda and I first met, she was my beautiful heterosexual roommate. And then I always made this joke that I gave her my leather jacket and then she was gay and it just worked like that. Uh, <laughs> That's how it happens to everybody. It's a second. <laughs> and so I thought it was this really cute way to kind of incorporate our origin story. We wore the nice pretty white dresses for the family, but underneath that dress I was still wearing my fry boots and a leather jacket. I wore the jacket after we walked down the aisle and we went for a little hike together and it really felt like my dad was there with me. Really that vibe of, you know, fatherly love and my family trying to look after me was there. Oh, motorcycle just rode by. That's so perfect. <laughs> to Sylvia! Congratulations everyone! It hasn't just ended that day, which is kind of beautiful that we're here today, we're connecting with all these brides. It's a magical thing. You like live vicariously through every other wedding it goes to. Kind of, yeah. I'm obsessed with clicking that hashtag. It's yeah. wild. I didn't actually expect the jacket to get as big as it did. I was like, it's an awesome jacket, but I felt like, I don't know, maybe you just get sick of red wine <laughs> or something, I don't know. But it just kept going and going and then it just kept building. The involvement it's had with so many different weddings has been so special. It went from being my favorite leather jacket into something so much bigger than that with just a bit of pain. Thank <laughs> you.